Today I'll show you how to create a pricing table like this with tabs for switching between the monthly, quarterly and yearly options. This tutorial will help you create any pricing table in just 5 minutes. This does not require any coding and everything is done inside Elementor. Welcome to our channel and let's begin. On the WordPress dashboard, head over to Elementor, Settings and then go to Features. Here activate the nested elements and then save the changes. Let's search for tabs, here it is and drop it just below the heading. Next I'll move to hover settings and set the background color to this shade and under titles I'll change the text color to white. There you go, the tab is looking good. Now let's add a price table with all our different pricing plans. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. Head over to widgets, search for the price table and drag and drop it here. Next, I'll go to content. Here, I'll change the title and description to this. In the pricing section, I'll add the amount like this. Once done, go down. Then, I'll update the time period to this. Next, I'll go to typography and change the font style to this. All right, now let's move to the header. I'll change the background color from here to black. I'll go to pricing, change the background color to black and adjust its font style. Okay, now I'll go here and change the currency position like this. Hmm. Let's increase its size to somewhere around this and then adjust the pricing value to match for consistency. For the feature section, I'll change the background color and set the text color to white. Next, let's style this button. I'll set the border type to solid, add some border width and set the border radius to 30. Then I'll change the background color to this. I'll go back to style and quickly add a hover effect to this button like this. Okay, the card is almost done. To add a final touch, I'll go to advanced, then border and apply the same border style we used for the button. There we go, now it looks perfect. For the next part, I'll duplicate the tabs two more times like this. All right, I have added all the pricing plans and my tabs are ready. So I'll go here and update the changes and click here to preview the page. Let's scroll down, click on tabs. And yeah, looks fine to me. Comment below if you have any doubts and I'll help you out. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.